Hey Summit, this is Edward, and this is your weekly update. Share this on all your platforms, get the word out. Spring break week, I know it doesn't feel like it. It's cold, it's been cold this week with wind, uh, but we're thankful for the break. If your parents have school kids, hope you're enjoying your week. Jake's not with me, you'll notice by myself today. Uh, he is with his family, also celebrating spring break, so you guys pray for them. If it's Sunday morning and you're joining us on Sunday morning, thank you for being here this morning early, because I know we showed this before the service, and. Uh, if you're here already, that means you got here really early uh, this week. So, hey, last week on spring break, we had no activities on Wednesday night. Uh, this week, we will resume those activities. So make sure that you have your students, 6th through 12th grade, there on Wednesday night, along with the Kid Venture Kids. Uh, get with Ashley on the schedule. You can look on our website, shf.com church and you can find the schedule for that. And then on March the 26th, we have a couple of things happening. That's next Sunday. That's not this coming Sunday. It's next Sunday. We have Women Facing Cancer Together. They'll be gathering uh, in our Generations Auditorium. And then for you guys that are new to Summit, you've been visiting Summit, maybe you're watching this and you haven't quite made the leap to be here in person, uh, on the 26th, we'll have a new members class uh, that you can come and find out everything about us. Just because you take the class doesn't mean you're a member. Doesn't mean if you take the class, you have to be a member. It's just where you can come and figure out kind of what's going on, who we are, our statements, our strategy, our structure, why we exist. Also, I'm really excited about this. More stories are coming. Uh, I get a new story about every week of someone sharing their journey uh, of Summit Heights and the and the following. In Christ. If you have a story you want to share with me, please share that at edward at summitheightsfellowship.com. I'd love to know your story, maybe of what God's done at Summit uh, through uh, the ministry here, or maybe something that happened years ago that God used as a defining moment, what Henry Blackaby calls those anchor points in our journey and experiencing God. Uh, some of us have some of those anchor points along the journey and along the way. So uh, if you have those, I'd love to know those stories. We also have a great story coming up. Uh, really, so actually we got a couple, so I, I, we've got three great stories coming up. And I'm not going to tell you what day, you just need to be here. You don't want to miss Summit. You never know what's going to happen uh, on, Sunday, on, on Sundays at Summit. A lot of cool things happening. In fact, uh, there, there's even, oh, no, I, I won't tell you about that yet. It's it's coming. I'm telling you, it's exciting. And we were talking in the elders meeting just last week, uh, just about the anticipation, the excitement of what God's doing and, and just how he continues to move. And I just encourage you continue to pray for our Sunday services. It's going to be good. I, I, I just, I cannot wait for Sundays uh, right now because I know God's up to some really cool stuff. So someone, I love you. Hope you have a great week. I hope you uh, uh, will invite somebody to bring the them with you, be a part of what God's doing, share your story, share your story, uh, cannot refute a changed life, and uh, changed life, uh, Jesus can change you, I hope he has changed you, I love you, cannot wait to see you Sunday.